The prospect of an end to jumps racing at South Australia's main race course this month has other clubs worried. The South Australian Jockey Club is sticking to its plan to halt jumps racing at Morfordville, which it says is a business decision. The South Australian Jockey Club signalled nearly two years ago it wanted to drop its nine jumps races at Morfordville this August. But the Oakbank Racing Club says it needs jumps racing at city meetings to attract interstate horses and trainers to its annual carnival, the biggest in the state. It says the SAJC's plan ignores the interests of other clubs. We work together as a team, the whole 25 clubs. We don't need one club splintering itself off and dictating to the board. The Jockey Club argues it's a question of damage control because it's losing vital turnover by running jumps races. We as a board and as a club need to make uh, income streams for the SHAC long term to underpin racing and uh, we've already had people that decide not to have functions at Morverville because we host jumps racing. John Glatz says banishing those events won't improve the SHAC's bottom line. That's a jumping day, two jumps races. No one can convince me that that's the finish of the season. Suddenly the crowds double the next week because there's no jumps racing. It just doesn't happen like that. For opponents of the sport, the jumps season can't end soon enough. Morfordville isn't making money out of jumps. You know, it's affecting their revenue. Um, it's not popular with the public. It's cruel. The RSPCA SA are against it. Thoroughbred Racing SA isn't commenting on the SAJC's stance, but says it's still committed to jumps racing. Chris McLaughlin, ABC News, Adelaide.